the hell is an escrow account? What does it have to do with buying a home? And do you need one? What's going on YouTube? Attorney Tom here. We're continuing our series about real estate transactions. I covered how to get a mortgage. What are the duties of an insurance agent? And one other one. What else I covered? Real estate agents. In the types of deeds. In the types of deeds. You should definitely go check out those other videos if you're a first time home buyer and we're gonna work our way through the entire process and I'm trying to go in a linear order. So presumably if you're watching this video, you have found a house that you like, you have found an agent that you trust, you have sorted out the price and the type of deed you're going to get. Now it's time to start the transaction process and it starts with an escrow account. But before we jump into it, I just wanna say thank y'all. We recently passed 200 thousand subscribers it took me over two years to get the first hundred thousand subscribers on this channel in about two months to get the second 100,000 subscribers my goal for this channel is always to make content worthy of your time and y'all support has meant the world to me and with that said a good lawyer never lets a good opportunity go to waste if you want to join this community, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button on this video so it helps push the video out on the YouTube algorithm so our community can continue to grow. Okay, let's jump right into it. What is an escrow account? An escrow account is an independent bank account held by a third party agent, an escrow agent that keeps the funds secured from both the buyer and the seller. And generally speaking, escrow accounts contain large amounts of money in them because it really only makes economic sense to involve an escrow account when you're dealing with a lot of money. There would be no need to have an escrow account over a transaction that was $20. It would be more trouble than it was worth. But if you're buying a home for $200,000, then it makes sense to have an escrow agent. But it's important to understand that an escrow account isn't fully funded right from the get-go with respect to a real estate transaction. Generally, the first money put into an escrow account is the buyer's earnest money. What earnest money is, is the buyer putting up a fairly significant sum of money to let the seller know that they are serious in the transaction of the house. This is a tool for sellers to weed out all the riffraff because if earnest money wasn't a thing, I could go to every single open house in downtown Houston over the course of a weekend and tell a buyer I was interested, presumably they would believe me and it would create a whole lot of problems. So generally in the real estate purchasing process, the very first step a buyer takes in engaging with serious talks to close the transaction with the seller is to put down an earnest money deposit. And it's important to note, if for whatever reason the deal falls through as a result of the buyer then the seller likely keeps that earnest money. And if the deal goes through and the transaction is completed, that earnest money is usually put towards the down deposit of the house. But because we don't exactly know where that earnest money is going to go at the very beginning, because the deal hasn't gone through yet, it is held in escrow until the escrow agent is directed as to who is entitled to the earnest money funds. Okay, so now we understand what a escrow account is. Why does it exist? For a couple reasons. First, to protect the buyer. Yes, protects the buyer. Let's say I engage with an individual to sell a house for a million dollars. I think that it's a good deal. I put the million dollars in an escrow account. Then we do our due diligence and it turns out that seller does not own title to the house. So had I just transferred the money initially, that seller could have taken that million dollars and ran away. I would have never seen him or her again. I would have been out a million dollars and wouldn't have had a house. Well, escrow, you put the money in escrow so the seller knows you're serious. They know that the money is there so long as they can prove they have title to the house. And protection of title isn't the only reason why a buyer has an escrow account. Another reason could be latent defects. The house has to pass a home inspector. Usually an independent third party inspector comes to make sure that the house is okay and whatever parts of the house are not okay were disclosed so the buyer knows what they're getting into. So I could buy a house, the seller could represent that everything is totally fine with the house and my inspector comes back and says, hey Tom, this house really has $100,000 worth of structural damage that you will need to repair ASAP if you buy this house. Well, that $100,000 fix could totally blow up the deal. The seller could take a $100,000 discount on the purchase price 
or you could just walk away. And in that point, the money would be transferred back from the escrow account to the buyer because the buyer walked away from the deal and it wasn't the buyer's fault why they walked away from the deal. Further, there are other types of escrow accounts as well. For instance, once a transaction is complete, mortgage companies often like to have an escrow account set up for the mortgagee where a portion of the mortgage gets deposited into the escrow account to pay for taxes and property insurance. And again, remember the concept of an escrow account to begin with, this is a third party agent. So this is money that's tucked away that the mortgage company cannot touch and the homeowner cannot touch. And this is for paying the property taxes and paying the insurance on the house. This is to protect the bank's investment, the mortgage company's investment. But disclaimer, I'm not your lawyer. This isn't legal advice. Every policy is going to be different. Every state's going to be different. I'm just talking in generalities. Okay, now that we understand what an escrow is and why it exists, let's talk about how it exists, how it's funded. How do escrow companies or agents get paid? Generally, escrow agents take a small percentage of the total amount in escrow. Although some do operate on a flat fee, it's going to depend on a case by case basis. And again, the duties expected of the escrow agent or escrow company is to act as the independent third party and only release funds when nothing's disputed and all that kind of good stuff. And final topic, are escrow accounts required? And that answer is technically no, but some lenders may require it, some buyers may require it, some sellers may require it. But to my knowledge, there isn't a flat out rule that says an escrow account isn't necessarily required. Meaning if I went and knocked on somebody's door and they were willing to sell me their house, all cash deal, we were ready to go right then and there. And we both mutually decided we didn't want an escrow well, I think you could probably pursue that. Another type of transaction in which an escrow account really wouldn't be applicable would be an owner financing deal, which I'm going to make a whole video about owner financing, by the way, because I think that is a very interesting topic in real estate transactions. But yeah, escrow accounts may or may not exist depending on the type of transaction. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching Escrow 101. Please, as always, make sure you leave any comments or concerns down below. Be sure to answer your questions. We are making our way through the real estate transaction process. The next video is either gonna be about the closing process or the inspection process, even though they're very similar. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.